So when it comes to doing just about anything in life, you do require skills. And the more skills you have, well, most likely the better you're actually going to be doing at doing that certain job. So when it comes to saving money, there are certain skills you actually want to learn to be able to do it the correct way so you can efficiently just save more money. Some people, they're very good at saving large amounts of money very quickly, very fast, but they can't really sustain that, okay? And they fall apart, they spend the money on trash, while some people, they're actually a lot better at just, for example, having some savings and saving up little by little, little by little, and before you know it, they have amassed a lot of money over a long period of time, and they just started out with just little chunks. So in this video, I'm not really going to be extreme. I'm not going to tell you, hey, everything you have, just throw it away, sell everything, start saving up every single penny, because usually when you first start doing something, it's my opinion that it should be fun in the beginning, okay? It's not to say like it's going to stop being fun, which it kind of will at a certain point, let's be honest, but when you first get started, it shouldn't be like that hard, that difficult. It shouldn't hurt that much. It's like when you go to the gym for the first time. If you go to the gym and that person takes you there and they crush you and you wake up the next day, you can't even pick up a cup, that's how sore you are that happened to me by the way, then you're not really that motivated to go to the gym the next day. It's better just to do a few things here and there and to feel like I could have done so much more, but that gets you excited about the next day. And that's exactly what this video is all about. Now, the very first skill you actually wanna have when it comes to saving money is going to be discipline. Everyone is required to have some level of discipline when it comes to saving money. If you have no discipline, it is going to be impossible to actually get it done. You're going to get started, then you're going to stop, then you're going to quit, and then it's going to be like this cycle of, I save something, I spend it all, or I can't save because I have no discipline whatsoever. So what's a very good thing to start off doing? So here's a little thing or a little trick you can actually start doing today to actually help you with building discipline, okay? And this is basically called reverse budgeting. And by the way, I am very, very much of a big believer that when it comes to like doing things in life, you don't just want to, for example, force yourself to be better, but you want to create a system that makes things a lot more easier for you. So one of these systems is going to be basically reverse budgeting. Now tell me, what exactly does that mean? Well, in reality, it's not that complicated whatsoever. What it basically means is you do reverse budgeting. You know, when the average person, they get paid, what happens is, they get paid some money, they grab that money, spend it on whatever you need to spend it on, and then whatever's left over, they save it, okay? And sometimes nothing's left over, and sometimes they save, something pops up, and then they spend the money, either way. But the idea be behind reverse budgeting is basically first, you save, and then you go ahead and spend on what you need to spend. And here's a quick challenge for you. Today, you can actually get started doing, okay? And the idea is, Every time you get paid, just try to save 10% of what you actually make. That's it, just 10%. And I know you might be saying, Tommy, well, I can do 15%, I can do 20%. Some people might be even able to do 50%, which is fine, that's great stuff. But for most part, I just want you to get started just doing 10%, okay, for at least six months. And the idea is, obviously, I'm doing it on purpose. I want you to get into the habit of every time you get paid, you set money aside, all right? That is one of the most important parts right here. So whenever you get paid, set money aside for your savings. Set it aside, set it aside, set it aside. So you save first, then you spend. Save first, then you spend. That is what idea when it comes to discipline. And by the way, when you do it this way, it requires less, less discipline because if you start spending and then you have to save, well, it gets a little harder. But if you save first thing first, then the whole thing is kind of like a lot more easier. Now, number two, the second skill you need to actually have is the ability to actually prioritize, okay? So priorities are basically what is first, what is second, what's a yes, what's a no? How do you actually organize yourself to just be more effectively when it comes, well, be more effective when it comes to saving money? And in reality, when it comes to prioritizing things, 
one of the best things you could possibly do is just separate and everything, okay? So if you're going to be effectively saving 10% of your money every time you get paid to build discipline, well, to build priority, what you really want to do is separate your account. So you should have, for example, one check-ins account and one savings account and have this money separate. Why exactly? Because you don't want to mix your spending with your savings and you don't want to have it in the same place either. And there is a reason, okay? So if you have a check-ins account and you also have a savings account with the same bank, if you find yourself in a pinch, what do you do? You transfer the money over from your savings to your check-ins and there is no hesitation, there is no waiting time, there is no issue. And that's what I want you to avoid. So prioritizing basically means have separate accounts. Have one account that's just savings. And for me personally, that's going to be the Discover Savings accounts. And then have an account that's based on your check-ins. And for me personally, that is my SoFi check-ins account. But you can have any online bank out there. Just make sure there are no fees associated. But having it this way basically means that when you get paid and you save that 10% or a 20% when you get further into this whole thing, um, the idea is you grab that money, send it over to your savings, and if you find yourself like you overspent, well, you're kind of screwed for that day because it kind of gives you some room to think about things. So this way, it's not just like automatic, hey, I don't have the money, I need the money, I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to myself, okay? No, 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 it takes like three days to get that money over there. So this way, it helps you stop and actually think. Now, the third skill you need to master, master, absolutely master, is efficiency. And when it comes to efficiency, it's all about cutting the fat from your budget, from your personal life. And the fat is everything you basically don't need. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? When you go on the internet, <coughs> I'm sorry, when you go on the internet, okay, and you find all these people that are basically shredded, like they have a body that's basically shredded, like not a ounce of fat on them, you get excited, you get pumped. You think that is what being healthy is, okay? When you see like a like a Mr. Olymp Olympia, right? Like um like Seabum or whatever this guy's name is, okay? You're like, oh my gosh, this guy is so shredded. In reality, that guy is on the edge of dying, okay? The body itself, it needs fat. Your finances need fat also, but when you have excessive fat, that's a problem. And what I mean is, okay, there are needs and then there are wants and there is no in-between. But some wants allow you the ability to carry out your your priorities, right? So the idea is if you live a life where you're only focused on your absolute needs like shelter, utilities, groceries, transportation, that's all you do. And you try to save the most money. And there is no room for fun or no room for just enjoying certain things out there like a vacation or whatever you actually want to do. Well, that's not as great as you possibly think it actually is. Because what you really want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that, hey, yeah, I am saving money here, but I also want to make sure that not all my money is just being spent on priorities. And although that kind of sounds like backwards, it is important because you want to have room to kind of play around, to enjoy the whole process. So yeah, cut the fat. Everything you don't need, cut it out. But have some room in there to have some amenities okay so for me that might be like i want to go out to dinner like at least once or twice a week i want to be able to shop on amazon for something or go on ebay and bid on a product i actually want do i need it no but it's something i actually want i enjoy having it and it makes the process a lot easier so overall these are three skills you actually want to have the skill to be disciplined to continuously keep moving forward the skill to actually go out there and prioritize. So know when to say yes, to know when to say no. And thirdly, the skill to be efficient, to be able to cut the fat, to cut the things you don't need. And some big things are gonna be, for example, hey, if you're paying way too much for your mortgage or your rent, consider getting a roommate, consider like selling, consider like switching apartments. If you're overspending on your car, consider selling it and buying a used vehicle that you can actually afford to pay for in cash. All these things make a massive difference when it comes to saving money. And it's basically what I recommend you actually go ahead and do. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to so get notified. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'm here to answer questions. All right. Um, up here is another video. Over here is my Facebook. Subscribe, as always, long-term team, officially out.